position for the second straight game. Finished up Booner with 25 points on 8 of 16 shooting. Yeah, see they able to spend 29 minutes on the floor, and I think his confidence is really starting to build here because he's looking to shoot the basketball and doing very good, a very good job at it as well. But running the floor, putting himself in a position where he can get the basketball, and again, his confidence is there. Stroking the basketball very, very well, and, and shooting it. <laughs> Oh, they, they just turned the mics on for us. A little feedback. That's live TV yeah. for you. CJ, congratulations. Tough fought win tonight. Explain the two halves. You, you're up big. Uh, you let it go. You're down two at the half. You find yourself down 10. You end up winning this ball game by 11. Um, in the first half, we got up, and I think we uh, relaxed a little bit and got away from what we were doing that built the lead. And we started taking quick shots. And uh, they were, and for that, we weren't be able to get back on defense, and they were getting easy shots, and they started getting going. I mean, uh, Bell hit a couple shots. Richard Jefferson had a great game, and Bogan had a great game, and they started scoring, and then they made a run at us. And then by the time we settled down, got some stops, and then we got on the break our, ourselves and got back in the game, and then we executed for the last quarter. Let's talk about your game. 25 tonight, 21 against the Suns. You start the season, I think you would agree, slow. Mm -hmm. You talked a lot about when we, we chatted on the road a, a week or so ago about being surprised to have the chance to actually start. Has that finally sunk in? And obviously your play dictates the fact that you feel comfortable. Yeah, I, um, I just took, thought to myself that I'm the starter. I got to be confident. I got to be out there, be aggressive, and not step outside of my game and find ways to get open. We have guys that draw so much attention and I'm able to slide in the spots. And then when I get going, I can make plays for myself also and others. So I've just been real confident. I mean, my uh, first couple shots, the last couple games, I've been trying to get to the basket, get to the foul line, which has made my jump shot so much easier. So, and guys have found me, and I thank them for it. And they set screens for them, and I thank them for that too. Okay. So that's the reason you're getting off to a fast start, because your first quarter is, it's, I don't think anyone's having any better first quarter than you have here, at least in the last three ball games. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I had a chance tonight, uh, coming back in at point guard, and I had a smaller guy on me, so I missed a couple shots. So I took him to the post, and I got two layups. And then the next couple shots were so much easier, and I was able to get to the basket because now guys are running at me because I made shots. So it's made the whole game open up for me. Now I can draw and kick, and it just opens everything up. So you feel like you get more involved here now because right. it, for a while it just looked like you were setting up for Andre. Yeah, I mean, I feel I'm, I'm, I'm a lot more active, too. Yeah. I mean, moving around, even on the other end, trying to get the flexion, trying to start the break so I can get those layups. And, and it makes the game so much easier getting the flow. There's no thinking. Everything is just reactions. I had a lot of thinking in the beginning of the season, which caused me to miss shots. So, I mean, now I'm just confident. The layups are good, aren't they? The layups are great. <laughs> hey, before I cut you loose, a real quick word about the depth of this team. You guys have been challenged with multiple lineups. Uh, tonight, you found yourself with one point guard. AK had to run the point. You had to have a look at it on occasion. Talk about just the depth of this team and how you've had to battle back and, and find different combinations to win ball games. Um, we talked about it since the beginning of the season. We've had games where we've had all 12 guys play, and we have 12 guys that can play, that are not guys at the end of the bench that play for emergency. We have guys, when they step in, they, they're not a drop off. They can elevate the game, and they can be just as good as anybody else. So, I mean, and that's even when Mo haven't even having a chance to play really right. yet. So, I mean, we have guys that have stepped up, and it's building everyone's confidence. So, when we are healthy, it'll make the game so much easier for Darren when he comes back, and Memo when he's fully healthy and he gets his, uh, gets his rhythm back. So, I mean, everybody's confidence is so high right now that it's just helping out the whole team All by right. getting these minutes. CJ, thanks for coming out. Uh, 25 tonight, 21, and we'll see you in San Antonio on Friday night. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. C.J. Miles and uh, Booner, the Jazz injury list. We'll have to wait and see uh, the status of Carlos Boozer. But Carlos with his uh, with a double double tonight and he may be doubtful for Friday in San Antonio with that uh, that hip issue or that uh, quad. I'm sorry, the, the left quad strain. Well, if you want to take a page out of Jerry's.